All right, what's going on guys? Today I got a really simple one for you. I'm gonna be showing you my top five Cydia tweaks and applications. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. My first one on the list is going to be Orbit for iOS 4. Basically you just double tap on your status bar. You can choose some different activation methods and it'll show you all of the pages that you've got up and running here. So as you can see, we've got the spotlight search there, page one, page two, page three, page four. So if I wanna just bounce to my games, you can just go ahead and tap on that. Um, so that's basically it. Really simple, uh, really useful if you have a lot of different um, pages and you know, you're know you kind of unorganized, you don't have many folders. As you can see, I've got lots of folders, so I kind of keep everything nice and organized. But if you're one of those people that don't like the folders and you just kind of throw everything on your springboard, then this will be uh, definitely helpful for you. You can go ahead and double tap on that and just spring to any page that you want to. All right, so the next one is called SnapTap. It's a pretty simple application. Basically, what it'll allow you to do once you open the camera app is you can actually use your volume buttons on the top here, your plus volume button, so your up volume button, to snap a picture. So let's take a picture of this pen. So as you can see, I just used that little plus button. You can actually shoot video as well by uh, using the snap button. So basically, it just replaces the regular um, touch screen button on the side there. It makes it a little bit easier if you're kind of a point and shoot person or you're using uh, the camera to shoot portrait. So if you want to take a picture of yourself, it makes it a lot easier as well. All right, so the next tweak I've got for you guys is called Spring Flash. All you have to do is double tap on the power button there and your LED flash will turn into a flashlight. Um, so that will be able to just illuminate dark areas if you're in a low light area or anything like that. Your LED light just turns into a flashlight. So that's a really quick and easy one. Very useful for anyone that uh, does anything in the dark or just needs some light to see. So that's called Spring Flash. And remember, all the instructions to get any of these tweaks will be at the end of this video. Okay, so the next tweak I've got for you guys is called SB Rotator. I'm sure you've already heard of it by now. Basically, what it allows you to do is just rotate your springboard. So you can go and use your springboard in landscape mode. And this actually works with many different applications. Let me just open the settings tab so you can see. So as you guys can see here, I've got my settings application in landscape mode. You can just scroll through here and there is a setting for the SB Rotator application. Just click on that there. There is, obviously you can enable it. You can choose different activation methods. Now of course, the main activation method would just be to actually rotate it from portrait to landscape. So I wouldn't bother going ahead and setting any activation methods. Um, it wouldn't really make any sense. Um, you can set your rotation duration. So if you wanted to make that longer, I'll show you what that'll do. Go back to your springboard. It'll actually rotate really slowly from portrait to landscape. So not exactly useful. I would definitely probably keep it as short as possible. I know that I had it on 0 0.4 and that's just about long enough for me. 0 0.6 is close enough. Now you can set the orientations as well. So landscape rotation obviously went on. Portrait you want on so you can you know move it back to portrait when you're done with landscape iPad style layout here, you can just click into that and that'll pretty much just allow you to lay out your springboard differently. You can allow up to 20 icons by doing 4 by 5 or 5 by 4 or you can just keep it simple. I just keep mine disabled. Now you can also scale your icons. I've got mine scaled down to 65% but if you want to have it a little bit bigger we can just keep it at, let's go around 80% because you already know what 100% looks like. Um, no respring required, it just kind of does it automatically for you. So you can see my icons are a little bit bigger there. I don't like the way that that looks. It looks like they're a little bit just too close together, touching, can't really, there's not really enough room between them all. So I don't like the way that that looks. I think I'll just keep mine dialed down to 65%. There we go. And that's good enough for me. But yeah, you can go ahead and go through all of these different settings. I won't go through them all, there's quite a few here. But um, that's kind of how it looks. If you hide the labels and you've got your icons dialed down to 65%, it actually looks a lot like an iPad without enabling the iPad mode. Okay, and the last tweak I've got for you guys today is called Multiflow. This is the new and improved Multiflow 2.1. So what you can do in this one, let me just open up the settings there. 
is you can switch the style. So instead of doing just expose, now you have an option to do cards, and I'll show you what they both look like. In expose mode, if you just hold the home screen button, now you've got different apps that you have currently running. You can go ahead and switch between them just like that, which is a little bit different from your regular native multitasking, which is just all these apps aligned along the bottom there. Instead of that, you can actually see so you have a little preview window of what you were doing last uh, the last time that you opened the app so then I'll show you what cards will do here just open up settings and if you switch to cards mode then when you hold that home screen button you can just switch similarly to what you'll get in Safari when you've got several tabs open you can just slide through and see what's available here you get a lot of a, a much bigger window to see exactly what you've been doing on each of these little menus rather than sorry little windows not menus rather than just uh, having the expose mode you can't really see much so I prefer the cards mode let me go back into this thing here so there's a couple more options here I won't go through them all but basically you can do things like rearrange your tabs in expose mode you can go ahead and I'll show you here turn on expose mode just for you guys there we go. So now you can arrange these icons, all these tabs, however you want them. Switch them up or whatever you want to do to order them to your liking. Let me jump back into settings here. Go back to cards. And if you're in cards mode, then you can actually use your home screen wallpaper. So I've got that enabled. Uh, now it didn't work last time I tried it. Yeah, it's just all black, but it does work. I just got it to work before. I don't know why it's not wanting to work now. Uh, it actually says that you might have to respring. So if I respring, if you actually respring after you set this, then it should work no problem. Um, and then you've got a couple more options. I won't go through them all again. But yeah, so that's basically Multiflow 2.1. You have a couple of different options now on how you would like to multitask rather than just using the native multitasking. All right, guys, so thanks for watching. Be sure to stay tuned for lots more City of Videos coming to you throughout the summer. And also be sure to check out my latest videos right there on the screen in front of you. If you like this video or if this video helped at all, make sure to click the like button and subscribe for lots more videos. Thanks, guys, again for watching. Later.